10 years ago, I got to see one of my favorite musicians. He was coming out of semi-retirement and sort of obscurity to play these small bar shows. I traveled halfway across the country to, to see him play in this small bar. And that moment is something that changed my life forever. Because up to that point, I had seen him play on Austin City Limits, seen clips online, read articles, listened to all his records. But to get to see him standing 10 feet away in this small bar and see what he did opened something up in my mind. And I remember driving back from that concert thinking, and I said out loud, I think maybe I could do something like that. a pivotal moment in my life because up to that point I had been in a position where I watched other artists that I admired and I looked from afar and I dreamed but it wasn't until that moment that night at that concert when I had this idea for myself I think I could do that That started this long journey for me. At the time I was in music school and um, I have a notebook where I wrote down all these ideas that I had, this ambitious goal to create an orchestra of string players, horn players, woodwind players, and to write songs in the mode of contemporary pop music, but use an orchestra to perform it. Much like we saw with Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole. In those days, that was pop music, and yet they were often using full orchestras to accompany them. I was lucky to be in music school and have many friends who played different instruments, um, but I wasn't quite sure anybody would help me. I had to uh, gin up my nerve to ask different people if they'd be willing to play with me, and to my surprise, every single one of them said yes. It started one of the coolest experiences and projects of my whole life, which was to write these songs, to orchestrate them, to write every single note down, and to uh, play shows, to do all of this, to create an album of music that is the most ambitious project I've ever done in my whole life. Every 
Everybody's got to die And I said, tell me about your dreams I wanna know what's in your head You said nothing's what it seems I think I'll go back to bed At the time, uh, there was a promoter who was helping me and he asked me, what do you want your band name to be called? And I always just said, I want to go by Danny Sabra. Again, I'm thinking, you know, just like Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, uh, all types of artists, they just go by their name. And I guess that was a little self-aggrandizing maybe, but that's what I had in my mind. But that wouldn't sit well with the promoter. So we showed it to the show and the billboard said, Danny Sabra and friends. And every time we would do a show, he would ask me, what's your band name? What do you want to go as? And I would say, just Danny Sabra. It's just Danny Sabra, Danny Sabra. I wrote it. I wrote the music. This is my music. I would show up to the gig and it would say, Danny Sabra and friends. But in a way, I think that it's super appropriate because without my friends, without each one of these people that became my friends, my colleagues, fellow classmates at school, none of this would have been possible. And so it took me 10 years to write these songs, to record them, to mix them, to master them, uh, to work with the engineer in his studio. I didn't have a lot of money and even though the engineer was giving me a steep discount because I believe he, he wanted to support me. Um, I could only afford a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And so we kind of piecemeal recorded this album over the course of years. And once you record it, the job's not done. You have to mix it. You have to edit every little sound and make sure that they're the right volume and in the right space. And eventually the record was done, but I felt burdened by this huge project. What was the perfect way to release it? How should I release it? Am I going to have a release show? Should I have a listening party? And eventually as time wore on, members of the band moved on with their lives. They got married. They had kids. They joined the military. They went to grad school. And the band really isn't here anymore. And I kept waiting and I was unsure and I wanted that perfect moment to release it. And I'm happy to announce, finally, after 10 long years, my album is finally out. Danny Sabra and Friends, this is the biggest project I've ever worked on. It has more of my heart, more of my soul, more of my dreams in it than anything else I've ever worked on. I hope you guys will give it a listen. I hope that you'll share it with some friends. This is a piece of artwork for me that I feel like if when I'm gone from this earth, maybe people will look back on this and remember it. And um, it's full of great memories for me. It's full of um, great friendships. And I just want to say to you, whatever your dream is, whatever you wish that you could accomplish, go for it. Go for it. Try it. Do it. Put it out. I think my one regret with this is I regret waiting 10 years, waiting for that perfect moment to put this out. It should have been out years ago because the truth is the perfect moment to do it is now. The perfect moment for you to go chase that dream, to go try that thing you've never tried before, to pick up that paintbrush, to pick up that instrument, to learn something new. The perfect moment to do that is right now. I hope you enjoy these songs. 
I hope you'll check out my album. It's on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Google, all the places that you can listen to music. And I'm going to be making some more videos in the future talking about the process of making this album, writing these songs. Um, but for right now, I just wanted to put that out to you and thank every single one of these people who made this album possible. That's why their names are on this album artwork. Without them, none of this could have happened. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to each of you who have listened to this record and are going to listen to it. If you'd like to support me, check out the link to Bandcamp where you can purchase this album and the money will go back to me helping me to fund future projects like this. If you haven't liked this channel yet already, please give it a like and subscribe. Please share this video and this album with anyone who you think might enjoy it. For me, the ultimate goal as a musician is just to have people to listen to my music. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so excited to share this with you. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. Now is the time to do it. I'll see you next time.